Wow! Whew, we have all six trigonometric functions, secant, cosecant, tangent, cotangent, sine, cosine residing inside, and we also have our year 2018. This problem is bound to be exciting. And really one of the first thoughts that may come to your mind is how can this simplify nicely? We have a cosecant, tangent, cotangent, obviously if this thing is a random argument, so if this thing was, who knows, a pi over 20, well there's no way we're gonna even attempt to find the exact value of this thing of pi over 20. So somehow, what's really intriguing about this summation is that the central expression is very contrived, very difficult to evaluate at arbitrary values, but once we do the summation, it actually simplifies nicely, as we are about to find out. But before we go on, I'd like to take the time to recognize J-Love, who was the very first person to correctly answer this challenge, with the answer, tada, of 1. A huge shout out to Jaylob, and let's see if we can get the same answer by the end of this video. To begin with, let's realize that we don't have to go all the way from negative 1 to 2018, because cosine is a periodic function, it repeats in the cycle of 2 pi. But in this case, we do not have cosine of x, or cosine of k rather, we have cosine of 4k plus 5 over 20 pi. So what's the period in this case? Well, examining the expression 4k over 20 pi is telling us that period has to be 10, because once k becomes k plus 10, we are going to have the original value, but we are going to have this extra 10 times 4 over 20 pi, or 2 pi added to the original value. More explicitly, 4 times k plus 10 plus 5 over 20 pi is equal to 4k plus 5 over 20 pi plus 2 pi. So once we add 10 to k, this entire thing is increasing by 2 pi, which means cosine is repeating again for the first time after the original value, which is equivalent to saying that period is 10. And also let's note that there are 20, 20 values from k equals to negative 1 to 2018, which is actually a multiple of 10. This is telling us that we don't really have to consider the summation from negative 1 all the way to 2018, but only the summation from negative 1 to 8, the first 10 values. And once we can evaluate this from negative 1 to 8, we can multiply by 202 because 10 times 202 is 2020 to find the value from negative 1 to 2018. But now what do we do? We seem stuck. Well, one thing we want to have as we are evaluating the summation from negative 1 to 8 is cancellation. We want as much cancellation, perhaps by telescoping or perhaps by trig identities, to happen so that we cancel out as many terms as possible. And for now, just as a starting point, let's ignore all of these functions for now and let's focus on cosine part. Well, one way of getting cancellation is if we have cosine of something and negative cosine of the same thing for two different values of k. Does that ever happen? Let's look closely at 4k plus 5 over 20 and you may shout out with joy, yes, because when k is replaced with k plus 5, we are going to be adding pi to the original expression. Let's write this out just as we did for k plus 10. So when k goes from k to k plus 5, we are going to get the original expression 4k plus 5 or 20 pi, but in this case, we are going to have this extra 20, 4 times 5 over 20 pi, or pi added to it. And when you have cosine of x plus pi, that's negative of cosine of x, so we are getting these negatives of each other. Another way of viewing this is that we have this cosine of 4k plus 5 over 20 pi, and as k goes from negative 1, 0, 1, 2, then 3, 
let's say we are getting the values a1, a2, a3, a4, then a5, we have just shown that when k is 4, so when we are adding 5 to negative 1, we are going to get negative of the value obtained when k is negative 1, and this is going to keep on repeating. So when 5 is going to be negative a2, add 5 to 0, the value of cosine at that k is going to be negative of the value at 0, then we can go on. So at 6, it's going to be negative a3, negative a4, then negative a5. And we see that once we cycle this from negative 1 to 8, cosine, the cosine values at those k's are going to sum to 0. So you may ask, so is the answer 0 then? Well, that's when we ignore this cosecant tangent cotangent and sign. But obviously, our solution is incomplete if we do not take those into account. So what happens once we take these into account along with our cosine? Well, something remarkable about these four functions is that they are all odd functions. Which means, for example, sine of negative x is going to be negative sine of x, tangent of negative x is going to be negative tangent of x, and so on. So for example, let's say we had k equals to negative 1 and 4, and once we took cosine of 4k plus 5 or 20 pi, we got a1 and negative a1 respectively. When we take sine of a1 and the sine of negative a1, well that's going to be negative sine of a1 because the sine is odd, and these are going to cancel out when we add them up. Now let's say we take tangent of both sides, so tangent of sine of a1 and tangent of negative sine of a1. Well, once again, tangent of negative something is a negative tangent of the same thing, tangent is odd, so these are going to cancel out once again, and hopefully you see that process is going to continue, so on. Well, I should have done cotangent first, but same thing, cotangent, tangent, cosecant. So in the end, these 10 values are going to cancel out in pairs to get zero, so this entire thing is zero even when we include these four functions. And that's telling us that this entire thing is being reduced to secant of 0, which is, of course, 1. And we are done.